Okay, so this is part three of our animation training series in Blender. In Blender, and uh, we are looking at uh, how we can break, how we can edit this uh, animation uh, using the graph editor. You can see that uh, if you go to the front view, uh, side view. Let me trim this animation so that it en it ends here. Uh, okay, so this is about. Let me turn back to keyframes so that I can easily so view. Mm, show keyframes so at around i want it to end at around 180 so 180 frames so that we don't have to wait and see how so you can see in this in the front is it this in the right view you can see that uh we only have this cube is only going in this direction and uh, if you want to give it uh at a, a that upward movement you can either add a keyframe say around uh, this here and push it up uh, so that it goes up and then comes back like that or you can use the graph editor for that and uh, we know from the axis from the color of the axis here that uh, the upward movement is provided by this uh, blue axis which is the z axis and uh, in the in the graph editor here, if we expand this, you can see we have three graphs here: green for the x for for the y, uh, red for the x, and then z for the uh, for the and then blue for the z. So this is also broken down here. Uh, so you can see uh, those axes here. And uh, if we zoom in a bit, we can also turn off these other axes so that we only deal with that uh, green axis, blue axis. And uh, you can see that uh, when it comes to around here this uh upward this upward keyframe here is providing for that uh, movement and uh, if we draw uh this here uh, let me just come back here it this animation is go is following that path like that so let me draw that uh which which resembles uh this uh the same thing we are having here so we can also push these values up so that at uh, this keyframe here uh, this goes even more further up so let's do that so at this keyframe you can move this you can select this keyframe by just uh, right click left clicking and then hit G to, to, to use to get uh, the moving uh, tool and then the axis Y uh, because this uh, the graph is a uh, is an X and Y axis so x is on this direction and then y is of for this direction up so we can move this up like this so i hit g let me uh switch on my shortcuts shortcut so g and then y to move it in to lock it in the z in this in that direction and can see whenever moving this it also updates uh, the direction of our 3d object so now we can we can see how the animation is now even expanded let's cut off our animation around here so which is at uh, 120 so end at 120 so when we play back goes up comes up and goes up like that so if we wanted say a movement like this in the z axis again there are a few ways to do this okay so the problem is that uh, this annotation is uh, kind of animated as well let me see if i can stop that annotations mm, onion can i just lock this yeah so if we want this kind of movement, uh, to we can do it dif in a, in a very different ways. But uh, before I do that, I think uh, we are, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, let me show you how I'm going in the next tutorial. I'm just going to show you how to animate just one property at a time, uh, so that we are not overwhelmed with a lot of keyframes in our workspace. Thank you.